Christina Hall reveals she's been suffering from a disturbing infection for years and never even knew it. The HGTV star shares the news in a lengthy post on her Instagram story, telling followers April 10th, When I was 16, I had a tooth injury to a back molar and had to have an emergency root canal. In 2020, my dentist saw via x-ray the previous root canal showed signs of being infected, so I went and had it redone. Fast forward to last week, the infection came back. So I've had an infection that I have zero symptoms of lingering for years. Christina calls the ordeal pretty disturbing and adds that she's taking care of her infection next week. She adds, leaving an infection that long can cause all kinds of health complications. With no root, you can't feel there's a problem. The Christina in the Country star advises her followers, if you have ever had one, go check yours ASAP. Christina was famously married to fellow HGTV star Tarek El Moussa from 2009 to 2018, and her ex recently spoke about their very public split. During an appearance on The Jennifer Hudson Show, Tarek talked about his new book, Flip Your Life, and got candid about how their divorce, in his words, broke him. And in your book, you open up about your struggles after your divorce. Like, why did you want to be so honest about everything? You know, I felt, I felt like I, I had to be honest, you know? Um, and the only way to tell the real story is to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth, mm -hmm. right? And it, it, was my t it was just my time to just share what I went through. Uh, in a lot of ways, it was an apology to my family, to my ex-wife, to my children, to my mom, to my dad, but t kind of to everybody. The Flipper Flop co-hosts who share daughter Taylor and son Brayden announced their breakup in 2016 after nine years of marriage, going on to finalize their divorce two years later. Back in February of this year, Tarek sat down with E! News and gave insight to his health journey and one incident that made Christina call the police, fearing he was going to take his own life. I want to go to the point where you lost it all. I mean, the Mercedes, the motorcycle, the BMW convertible, the mansion, everything was gone. Gone. So that, that would be 2016. You know, so 2013, um, I found out I had thyroid cancer. Uh, right after that, I found out I had testicular cancer. So then I went through the treatments, I went through the surgeries, mm -mm. and then right as I started to get healthy again, I hurt my back. Um, and then I was on opiates for about a year, Percocet, Dilaudid, Vicodin. Oh. And after that, um, I was, still wasn't feeling good. So I started taking testosterone injections, and that was the end of me. My hormones were all over the place because I had no thyroid, and in 2016, my life imploded. Um, Christina left me and it was heartbreaking. Um, and at the same time, like looking back, 2020 hindsight, you know, I understand why she did. I was a mess for, for quite a few years. And I found myself on my own, living on the boat for two weeks after she left me, not eating, drinking way too much. One day I was just hanging out, passed out, hit the deck. When I woke up, my friends were shaking me. Mm. Uh, they immediately set me up on the phone with Dr. Drew and uh, I ended up moving to a halfway house. Take me to the moment that you knew that you needed that 24 hours, seven days a week supervision at that halfway house, that rehab facility. Yeah, well, the, the moment actually started uh, probably a few weeks before Christina actually left me. I knew, um, I knew there was a major problem because inside I was dying. I was, I was slowly dying. It's so hard to explain, you know, people that are suffering with mental health issues, you know, you can't control it. It's, it's almost like it's out of your hand and then you throw in the testosterone and the hormones yeah. and the pills and the, you're just not the same human anymore. So, but I knew I needed the help that day on that boat because I, I don't know if I would have made it. Why is this book necessary now? Okay, so you know, I'm 42 years old and, and I started my entrepreneurial journey when I was 19 years old. And man, it's been a rocky road. And like, you know, the world's seen it on TV. You know, I've, I fought two different cancers. I was broke, I made money. I lost it all, like I've just been through the ringer. But while I went through the ringer, you know, I learned valuable lessons mm -hmm. on how to overcome adversity. And the book is, it's really a tool to help people. It doesn't matter what situation they're in, mm -hmm. to help them get out of it, rebuild their life and start working towards a brighter future.